So this is by a writer called Olari Waju, and he has another name, Buhari. Um, I want you guys to kind of relate to this and do not think um, probably is from the north or a Fulani man. It's not necessarily. People could come up with pen uh, names, you know, names they use whenever they need to write. He started with Nemesis does not only befall those who deliberately impoverish their people. It consumes their children too. The socio-political space in Nigeria has been polluted with criminality. Bola Metinumbu, a sociopath and betrayer of trust against MK Abiola during Nadeko era, is a desperate politician who is unmoved by the current crisis rocking the nation. The country can burn if it so desire, provided that its ambition to clinch power in 2023 is intact. Bola Metinumbu, who claims to be a more profound nationalist than Chief Obafemi Awolowo, has not even achieved an atom of Awolowo's achievement. His colloquium has been a jamboree that hasn't achieved any result. However, infinitesimal, neither did he continue from what Awolowo left behind. It's the empty vessel that usually comes noisy. The one containing water is not. The legacy chief of Bafemi Awolowo left behind, such as the democrat, um, democratization of education and several others, remain relevant several years later. The ideology of Tinubu is not only to ruin any organization, but also to hijack it as his own private entity. For example, Lagos State or Shun State are examples of why Bolame Tinubu must be avoided by all means like a plague. Awolowo was a known freedom fighter who fought for justice and equal rights throughout his lifetime. He contributed in the fight for independence, liberated his own people, and gave them Western education. On the contrary, Bola Ahmed Tinumbu has not only impoverished Lagosians, he made sure thousands of them are out of school so he can use them as hoodlums during elections. For instance, how many Iberos has he given free education or scholarship? Instead, he hands them with tools to mob opposition members, his critics, and then imposes himself over the will of the people. Awolowa was a promoter of peace and unity. His immense contributions towards the development of Nigeria was as a result of free education and free healthcare system for the children in the Western region, as it was then known. Tinubu was an opportunist who rode on Awolowo's establishment in the southwest. The aforementioned achievements of Chief Obafemi Awolowo can never be compared to a treacherous eight-year rule of Bola Hamed Tinubu as ex-governor of Lagos State. These eight years was wasted years that amounted to a fruitless journey that bore no good seed. Bola Hamed Tinubu deceptively claimed that Major General Muhammadu Buhari would make heaven as a second home in Nigeria, but Buhari brought hell instead. Instead, indeed, someone whose character is questionable is in the United States should never be trusted with a sensitive position in Nigeria, let alone becoming president. May it never happen. His motives and ways of manipulating people against each other is another matter entirely. He previously said, I do not believe in one Nigeria. Such a man should not be considered a true democrat. Those who do not believe in one Nigeria like Tinubu will do all sorts of things to cause chaos in the country just to gain access to power. They will mobilize thugs to deal with people who kick against their political ambition. Tinubu is a well known as the grand patron of thugs in the entire southwest. He was indicated, indicted sorry, by the United States government for drugs and fraud related offenses in 1993 to the extent that he forfeited $460,000 US dollars to the United States government. So apparently, the national leader of APC, if such title exists as a calling, has some unanswered questions to answer over drug crimes and criminal activities he reportedly committed in the United States. Lagos State, under his watch as governor, 
was bastardized and ruined to the most miserable state. He acquired lands and properties, converted them with the state treasuries as his personal businesses. Remember when he justified the killings of Parfasarati daughter who was killed by Fulani men. It is also obvious that Tinubu has no sympathy or respect for humanity, none at all. Not to talk of what happened at Lekki Toll Gate. Tinubu who used semen as soap in the United States, urine as water in Nigeria, can never in any way stand to become Nigeria's president. Nigerians should never again support a mediocre anti-democratic forces who pose as Democrat in Agbada, people with shady records or criminals who cannot be trusted with basic things. These are all the personal opinions of the writer. Now, what's your opinion about this? I think it's a very touchy one, particularly people who feel that Bola Metinumbu is the answer to the south of Nigeria, to the southwest of Nigeria. They believe that um, there are some people who are paid, politicians who are paid, um, writers who are paid to speak against Bola Metinumbu. And they believe that this is just an attempt to you know, wiggle away, take away what belongs to the South. They believe that Bola Metinumbu deserves all, everything. And I do not know what your own thoughts are as regards this one. Um, do you think that Bola Metinumbu is exactly what this writer has talked about? I do not know what he meant by Bola Metinumbu uses semen as soap in the United States and urine as water in Nigeria. Um, is this to say that he is someone who is immoral, someone who is dirty, someone who is divisive, someone who is unclean, somebody who should not be given or permitted the opportunity as he does not have any moral standing, he doesn't have any integrity in him. Um, this is somebody who cares less about life. I could remember back in those days when Parfasarati's daughter got killed and he said we should not politicize this as we can point fingers to Evans, Evans the kidnapper. He has killed a lot of people and it is true. We cannot just talk about crime as per tribe. Crime exists everywhere. Evans is as terrible as any other Fulani uh, kidnapper or Northern kidnapper. There's no difference. Kidnapper is the kidnapper from the southeast to the southwest or whatever. Whoever kidnaps people for money or kidnap people to take all the patterns of them is not. You're not different from Chicago in the north of Nigeria. It doesn't make you better. You kill one person, one person kill hundred. It's killing is killing. You are a bad person. You are an evil person. So, um, but. He should have said such right then when they talked about this. Uh, but because he's someone who is insensitive, someone who is um, doesn't have the fear of God in him, um, he, he said it right in front of Parfasarati's house when he came out to pay visit, to sympathize. Let us use the word sympathize if he really did um, sympathize with the man. Uh, everybody's life is important, not just Parfasarati's um, um, late daughter. Everybody is important. So the way he spoke and the way he spoke and all of that, I, I didn't feel good. I felt that he should have just kept quiet and said um, things in the right way. But he didn't say it. He just said, no, don't try. Why are you saying this? What about uh, Evans? Is he also a Fulani man? At the end of the day, when investigations got carried out, they realized that it's a Fulani, um, not an, let's use the word not an, that got involved in this. So um, this writer is saying, Bola Metunubu, a failure that should never become Nigerian president. What's your opinion by this? Please do drop it in the comment section below.